The Lion Who Became King of the Jungle Once upon a time, in a vast and thriving jungle, all animals lived under the rule of a wise and gentle elephant named Maharaj. Maharaj was beloved by all for his fairness and strength, but time had caught up with him, and he grew old and weary. Sensing his days were numbered, Maharaj called for a great assembly of all the animals to choose a successor who would lead the jungle with the same wisdom and courage. The day of the assembly arrived, and the jungle was abuzz with anticipation. All the animals gathered in a grand clearing beneath the ancient banyan tree. There were many contenders for the throne, the cunning fox, the powerful rhinoceros, the swift leopard, and even the regal peacock, who believed her beauty alone should make her queen. Among them was a lion, known as Leo, who had lived a quiet life on the outskirts of the jungle. Leo was neither the biggest nor the strongest of the lions, and he was often overlooked by the other animals. But deep within him, Leo harbored a burning desire to prove himself worthy. Maharaj stood before the assembly and spoke in his deep, resonant voice, the time has come to choose the new ruler of our jungle. But this will not be a matter of strength or cunning alone. Our new king or queen must possess the qualities that make a true leader, courage, wisdom, and the ability to protect and unify our great home. The animals whispered among themselves, each speculating who would take the throne. Suddenly, a loud roar echoed through the clearing. It was not Leo, but the mighty tiger, Cher, who stepped forward. Cher was fierce and feared by all, with his sharp claws and powerful build. I am the strongest, Cher declared, and I should be king. The other animals cowered, believing that Cher's power made him the rightful ruler. But Maharaj was not swayed by intimidation. Strength alone does not make a king, he said. You must prove you can lead with more than just fear. Maharaj then announced a challenge, to find the true leader, I shall test each of you with three trials. These trials will determine who possesses the heart of a true king. The first trial was a test of wisdom. Maharaj presented the contenders with a riddle that could only be solved with deep understanding of the jungle. The fox, known for his cleverness, eagerly stepped forward and attempted to solve it, but his answer was too simple, lacking insight. The others tried as well, each failing in their own way. When it was Leo's turn, he pondered the riddle carefully. Drawing upon his knowledge of the land and its creatures, he provided an answer that was not only correct but showed a deep connection to the jungle's harmony. Maharaj nodded in approval. The second trial was a test of courage. A wild storm had broken out the previous night, and the river had swelled, threatening to flood the jungle. Maharaj tasked the contenders with finding a way to protect the jungle's inhabitants. Cher roared and tried to redirect the water with his brute strength, but the river was too powerful. The others also failed in their attempts, either retreating in fear or falling short in their plans. Leo, however, remembered a dried-up stream he had once discovered during his solitary hunts. He realized it could serve as a new path for the river, diverting it safely away from the jungle. Gathering the animals, he led them in a coordinated effort to clear the stream, guiding the water to safety. The jungle was saved, and Maharaj again nodded in approval. The final trial was a test of compassion. Maharaj presented the contenders with an injured deer, left behind by the storm. The leopard, eyeing the deer as prey, refused to help. The peacock, disinterested, simply turned away. Even the fox hesitated, uncertain of what to do. But Leo, despite being a predator by nature, approached the deer with gentle care. He knew that as a leader, he must protect all creatures, even those he might otherwise hunt. He licked the deer's wounds clean and guided it to a safe place, ensuring it would heal. Maharaj, seeing this display of true leadership, finally spoke. 
Leo, you have shown wisdom in solving the riddle, courage in saving the jungle, and compassion in caring for the weak. These are the qualities of a true king. The jungle fell silent as Maharaj continued, from this day forth, Leo shall be king of the jungle. He has proven himself in ways that none of you have. Let all who dwell here know that our new ruler is not just a lion, but a leader who will guide us with strength, heart, and wisdom. The animals, once doubtful, now cheered and roared in approval. Even Cher, humbled by Leo's deeds, bowed in respect. Leo, once overlooked and underestimated, had proven that true greatness comes not from brute strength or cleverness alone, but from a heart that cares for all. And so, Leo became the king of the jungle, ruling with fairness, wisdom, and compassion, forever changing the fate of the jungle and earning his place as a true and worthy leader. Thanks for watching. Please like and follow for more.